Hi all folks, this is Max from htcevohacks.com. So today we're going to overclock um, our phone to 2 gigahertz um, from 1.2 gigahertz dual core. Uh, this also has a Wi-Fi tweak that let you get better Wi-Fi signals. Um, this is the, uh, we're going to install a new kernel called RC Mix Evo 3D. Um, I have actually, you can probably use a stock ROM or what I have here is the uh, MIG G 3D ROM, which I highly recommend. Uh, anyway, go download the file. It's called the RC Mix underscore 3D underscore Evo underscore kernel version 2.1 or higher um, if you see a higher one. Uh, go download that. I'll have links below. And then download it and copy it over to your SD card. Next, we're going to reboot into uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, I guess somebody was pointing out to me you don't have to take you can take the battery out put it back in and hold down the volume or power or you can download ROM manager and do it too or you can turn the fast boot off um, thanks you guys and uh, you guys are actually teaching me now which is kinda cool um, and uh, I guess I didn't check that it worked with clockwork mod but don't flash the um, Clockwork mod off the ROM manager, then you'll you might lose your um, custom uh, the custom Clockwork mod recovery. Anyway, just try see reboot into recovery and say okay, and then hit allow, and then hopefully that works. Then you don't have to take the battery out. That's the new way. Um, I'll have to update videos now. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so mm -hmm. we're in Clockwork Mod Recovery, and we're just gonna go. Make sure you make a backup of your current ROM. You, if you don't know how to back it up, I'll have a links on how to back up your Evo 3D. And also, you'll have to have your phone root it. If you don't have it rooted, go root it first, please. Full root, not the permanent or or not the temp or perma temp, but the permanent root. Um, so go to install zip from SD card, hit the power button. Um, choose zip from SD card, hit the power button. The reason why the older method is not working on the uh, Evo 3D, the rooted one, because it's, um, I think the kernel's been updated and the, the other one I had up there, that was only for uh, perma temp rooted. But, um, and you go down to RC Mix underscore 3D Evo, um, the file you copied, the kernel uh, zip file you copied over earlier, the whole zip file, and hit the power button, and go to yes, and hit the power button, and then that will install the kernel, and it says um, flashing new boot dot image, welcome to KL Quick S A L L kernel, install is complete. So go back and reboot and pray to God cross your fingers that the kernel didn't break your ROM yeah anyway I'll be back uh, when this reboots I'm gonna go have a sig um, or actually yeah, I might just stay here it might boot up in like a couple seconds by the way we reached a uh, thousand videos mm -hmm. uh, I think this is my thousand third mm -hmm. video or something like that you know that that's like three videos per day every day for last three years um, actually I've been on YouTube since 2006 so 4, 5, oh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 so for five years I made like you know put at least one video up or something um, no, no one video per day for three years so I'm gonna try to upload even more videos <laughs> uh, I kinda like doing this because it's kind of you know, fun. Doo -doo -doo. And also, you'll need to actually download and install Set CPU app. Um, if you don't have it, go download it. Okay, so I, I don't need this. So it reboot it fine. Mm -hmm. So if I just bring up, um, if I just can just bring up the uh, Set CPU app. I'll be all good to go. I actually have it on my, I didn't install it yet, so I'm gonna use a file manager. This is income with the file manager. If you don't have file manager, you can go download it. Um, 
files, which is Andrew Zip or ES File Manager. I'll get the free version. And uh, let's do this, guys. And open. And then I'm going to go find my set CPU. Um, if you don't have it, I'll have links um, where you can get it. Download it at XDA for free. Or you can get it on market by, by donating or and install. And if it's blocked, just say unknown sources, OK. And go try installing it again. And we're probably not going to be able to run it at 2 gigahertz. It depends on all your, you know, every CPU is built different. Click on uh, auto detect speeds recommended. You see that? Yeah. The middle one. OK. And allow. And uh, I'm, I don't know. Let me try to see how fast I can go. 1.4. I think 1.4 is pretty decent, but this one has settings too. So that's 1.7. Oh, that's 2.05 gigahertz. I bet it's not gonna stay there. It's gonna like freeze on me. Or is it? Oh, it's working. So the next test, how you can test is just run the whole thing. Your your uh, phone at 2.05. That's dual core. That's almost four gigahertz. And see if it runs. And it's not too bad actually. I got it on performance. Now hold on a second. I'm gonna go download uh, some Quadra Quadrant and the uh, Linpack. And so far it hasn't frozen, so it's pretty stable. It looks pretty cool. I'll be right back. Hi all folks, so just I just put the uh limpack on, so I'm gonna go load up limpack here real quick. Oh my god, I know this is gonna be like super fast. I think I'll let's just run it. Run you gotta run multi-thread because there's two processors running by the way. At two gigahertz dual core, that's two point oh five. Actually, I'm getting like bunk speeds. I don't know why. Whoa. Let me try a single thread. It's supposed to be faster, but now it's a lot slower. Uh, you know what? Maybe I didn't set it right. I'm going to go to set CPU. Oh. I put it on performance, but it's only on 384 for some reason. Um, let me put the minimum up so it's always at two gig, two point oh five gigahertz. Hey, did it freeze on me? No, it didn't freeze on me. I don't know that performance thing is not working. I'm just gonna put it back on on demand. Um, that could be why. And let me go back to Limpack because that should, should be way faster, not slower. Should be getting like almost 200 mega flops. Weird. Weird. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening here, but it's only running at the uh, lowest. Um, let me try performance again. See, when I do performance, it should. Uh, go to the max maximum CPU. Okay, now it's at. Okay, now it's working, right? Let me go try to. Yeah, now it's working. Now it's at 1.5. I guess I just gotta go a little slowly. Now it won't go past um, 1.5. So I'm gonna set it at 1.5 too. That's still not too bad. Um, let me run the then pack again. Now we should. Ah. Now we should get um, decent speeds. There you go, 73.97, 83. This should keep going up beyond 100 at least. So this is at about 1.5 gigahertz, which is still great, you know, 81. I think there's some kind of the kernel. I'm not sure. I'll have to. Um, I'll have to test it out more, but. Maybe you guys can try it out. Let me know <clears throat> what the uh, highest mega flops and highest um, clock rate you can go at. And uh, let me run Quadrant for you guys real quick. And I'm going to get out of here. So, uh, 
Okay, so here we go. <laughs> So I'll be back when this finishes. I'm sure you guys don't want to stick around for this. So I got the results back, 1684. Um, actually, I don't know why, but the speeds actually look smaller, and it's my nothing else is running on my phone other than those things. Let me go back to set CPU. So I can go a little bit farther. Huh. Yeah, it won't let me go past 1.512 gigahertz. Anyway, um, that's the review of the RC Mix Evo 3D. Um, you can you can overclock it. I'm not I'm not sure why, but I put it on the Mix G3D ROM. So, but it's you know at least it's working. Um, we can get it overclocked, and I'll have a review of other kernels soon. Um, this week's gonna be like super busy with like you know a hundred. My goal is to put out like a hundred 3D videos about Evo 3D. So subscribe um, to my channel and my site email list, please. Pretty please. Anyway, thanks, y'all. And go overclock. Try it out. Let me know what you think about this kernel. Thanks, y'all. Bye-bye.